Hey everybody, it's Ryan. Welcome back to How Farms Work. Today we are standing here with Chris and Tony from Unverfirth, and they're gonna walk us around the 1160. Uh, as you, many of you know, we've been using the 1160 on the farm for all this harvest, and so far it's been great having the extra storage capacity out here in the field. And uh, yeah, you guys wanna take it away from here, just kinda talk about the cart a little bit more. I, through experience, I can talk about some things, but I know that uh, you guys are more well-trained on certain things than I am. Yeah, so this is this is our uh, 1160 Unverfirth grain cart. It's a 1100 bushel cart in our Unverfirth lineup. Uh, this will be our 60 series. We have carts that range from 750 bushel all the way up to this 1100 bushel capacity. Uh, the 1100 bushel capacity would have a 20 inch auger, get you in load speeds around 600 to 650 bushel a minute. Uh, you're gonna have about 13 foot of unload height, which is one of the highest in the industry. Really helps with clearance, uh, especially in rolling terrain like you guys have up here. We got our 965 R32 Firestone tires on here. I was talking to your brother Travis a little earlier. These are uh, an IF tire from Firestone. It stands for Increased Flexion. They actually have technology built in the tire to have a little bit more flex, get you a, a, a better footprint, and really a good technology for a grain handling application. Uh, when flotation's key, you get a little bit better of a, a ride, a smoother ride. And when you're not in a driven application, uh, you don't necessarily need something that's going to be rigid and, and get you a lot of traction. So it lays that tire out nice and flat. All right. This, this uh, also has our, our U-Harvest Pro scale system on it. Uh, it's a, a scale system of ours that integrates right into the ISOBUS system of the tractor. Um, as the world of technology progresses in agriculture, um, ISOBUS platforms are becoming standard equipment in the tractors. Uh, obviously we have an 8R tractor here, uh, the 9Rs are becoming standard with armrest displays, ISOBUS armrest displays. So having a scale system that can integrate into that platform and become a, a part of the technology in the tractor uh, as opposed to having a separate monitor in the cab um, really helps bring the grain cart uh, into the 21st century to mm -hmm. say um, and gives us not only that but a really in-depth data structure. Um, we can track data by grower, farm field, truck ID, destination variety, uh, help the customers not only accurately top off their trucks, uh, but also manage that data at the end of the season with uh, Raven's, Raven's Slingshot uh, web-based server uh, that they, they have for, for creating reports and validating your yields with crop insurance adjusters, things like that. Okay. So, cool. Yeah, having that scale on there this season has been a huge help because we've been able to get it down to the nearest thousand put it exactly where we want on the truck and it's been really useful we know what we're getting off the field we can we haven't done it yet but we can calibrate right off the grain yeah. cart as well too i think your father said that when they were calibrating the combine and they tested on the cart they were within about six pounds yep. uh, so we typically advertise accuracies within one percent and we find as that calibrations maintained throughout the season that we can certainly do that if not better uh, even though we are on a, a mobile scale platform we can we can get accuracies pretty pretty good some other unique features of the Unverfer 60 series cart uh, is the auger the driveline system itself so if you look up here you can notice in our drive system it is a single point engagement meaning there's one point on the lower auger that drives and one point on the upper auger that is driven what this does is it gives us the ability to have truly timed augers so we're one flighting ends the next one begins so we're grabbing grain as we transition through that area uh, as opposed to having a bottleneck an increase in torque an increase in auger wear as many of you know if in the world of grain handling when in grain carts the biggest wear area is going to be any transition of grain uh, so that really helps with the wear life of the augers it helps eliminate that bottleneck reduce the torque load on the driveline uh, one thing too in order to compensate for this since you have one point of engagement the lower end of that upper auger is actually cushioned. So there's some torsion pads in there that allow when that aug lower auger comes around to cushion that engagement so we're not sending that entire shock, shock through the driveline. Um, we've, we've implemented this on a lot of our carts uh, from the past and, and moving forward and it's been a, a good system for us to, to eliminate auger wear and, and help consistently unload grain throughout that entire process. That's good because we have used carts in the past where you do engage the auger and then you can just hear that bang when it finally yep. catches and I've noticed that with this one it's really smooth and yeah you don't hardly even notice it engaging yeah because we we've had single point drive for a while um, 
and that's obviously something we've noticed and in order to mitigate that we, we put those uh, that soft start in there to help with that engagement to, to keep those components protected. <laughs> I've got less than 30 minutes to spare. If he stops ahead of me like the last one did, I'm going to be very, very upset. So Gavilon closes at six. It's now 5.35. I can't believe it. it. Always happens. I'm always right here when they come. <sighs> no freaking way. As a child, I used to like trains come to find out how truly wrong I was. Jackpot, 10 minutes to spare. Let's do this. Oh, no. Okay. I think I'm just gonna sit here and wait. <laughs> wow. I'm not totally sure why, but the lights on the auger don't work on the Enverfirth. Um, they actually do work, it's just that they're not wired right with the 82 because we had to mess around with the wiring to get the Brent grain carts lighting to work. So something's mismatched there, it's not in the grain carts, in the tractor. Having a 